Hey curl friends, if y'all wanna know how I got this super cute, super natural clip-in style on my natural hair, then just keep watching this video. Um, look at that, isn't that? Uh, just keep watching the video, okay? This is part two to the three part series of these clip-ins. If you um, saw my first video, then you know this is the same day. It's probably gonna all be the same day, um, except for when I all right, you guys, so I did fib. I actually just went ahead and recorded everything in this one video. So if you wanna see how I actually get into styling the hair, then jump straight to the 10 minute mark because that's why I actually get into my pat my braid pattern and all that stuff and styling it. You can skip there, or if you're part of the gang, you can watch the whole video from here. I actually put the clip-ins in. That will be a separate day, um, which will be tomorrow. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know, I'm Rachel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this screen. I am on the road to 200 subscribers. Um, so, you know, join the game. You early in the game, you still part of the family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell so you will know whenever I post a video. So in that video, I pretty much was doing the unboxing, the unpacking of the clip-ins because I was super excited. So now I'm actually gonna go in and watch them because girl, I don't know if you ever gotten like weave ordered, but it stinks. So I don't like the way it smells. I, you know, I can't really fault Betterland for that, um, but the smell of these, I just, to wash them sis you need to wash first of all if you get weave and not washing it that's another savage level right there i'm just gonna say that because listen this 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 here done been through packaging different places in the world you gotta wash your hair sis you gotta wash it so basically oh my goodness i have my towel and so for my, I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet, but I brought my, um, I got my coconut co-wash by As I Am because I thought this might've been better to use than actual shampoo and conditioner, but the instructions that came with the hair said a sulfate-free shampoo, so, um, which I was gonna use the Carol's Daughter kind of duo that I have here, the Goddess Strength. Um, because I use that on my own natural hair and I really like it. So, um, I guess let's go ahead and jump into it. So, I mean, I'm gonna follow the instructions because it said use the sulfate free shampoo. So, I'm gonna pass on the as I am, but I did grab it. I might still use it after I use the shampoo. Um, just because it is like a conditioning shampoo slash co-wash, um, which would still be good and beneficial, but for the sake of following instructions, we're gonna go ahead and just use shampoo. So um, I have them all right here um, and I'm holding them, which I guess I could have put a rubber band on this, but I'm just holding them at the root and I'm gonna be soaking them and washing them. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the rest of this video.
Now, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but this hair does shed, okay? Um, the first day, so when I actually washed this hair the first day, it didn't shed as much. However, um, from styling it a couple of times, it has been shedding a little bit more. And that's pretty normal because it is, you know, kinky curly hair. So I do expect the shedding. Um, but I also do feel like my nails also play a factor in that because I have been catching little snags of hair on my nails um, from the clip-ins. But I will say they do shed. So, you know, don't be alarmed if every time you're styling your hair or you wash this, wash this hair that it does shed. Um, but I mean, it's pretty normal, like I said. And plus, I mean, it's so curly and so like kind of bushy. So, I mean, if it sheds, it's okay. Like that might be in your favor, especially if you don't like super thick um, looking clip-ins and hair like I do. So I'm okay with the shedding, but, um, you know, I don't want to give you guys the false pretenses that it does not shed. It does shed. Um, and it definitely sheds every time I at least would go to style the hair as well. Um, it sheds worse dry than it does wet. So it resembles your natural hair, basically. Um, your hair, when you style it dry, it sheds more than it is when it's wet, just because of detangling purposes. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind.
So now I'm getting ready to um, do my twist pattern, braid pattern, the pattern that I'm gonna use to clip the clips onto. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and twisted my hair down. This is what it's looking like. In the back part back here, I just rubber band the um, ends of it up. So this part, we're actually going to twist in the clipping. This part, um, we're gonna do the same thing. So, go ahead and take these out. Um, and I went ahead and did the twisting off camera just because it was gonna take way longer than I wanted to edit. Um, but basically, if you know how to flat twist, then this is just the pattern that I use. Nothing fancy about it. So let me just flat twist this out the way for now. So I put these clips in. So you don't have to be perfect. This section is a little big, but we'll roll with it. So I am going to start with my four clips in the back. All right, you guys, so I think I actually lied. I think I started with three clips in the back. And so I went three going up my head. I did three, four, four, five, five, back to three clips. Um, the closer I got to my part, just because um, you really don't need that much hair, like a whole bunch of hair in the front. You want it to kind of lay as flat as possible. So you want to put your shorter clips um, towards the top and towards the back of your neck. Um, so that's what you see me doing here. I will also add that in the next clip you'll see, I actually went back and retwisted my hair because I realized I left too much hair out in the front and at the part, the center part. So, um, in the next clip you'll see that, um, 
I left, I took some hair back out and actually retwisted my whole head. Um, and I also laid the clip-ins the same way. Um, and I spaced them out a little bit better than what I did here. And I'm not sure if you'll see that in the next clip, but basically, um, that's basically how I laid them. I went with my three clips first, then my four, four, five, five, three clips, and then my two clips, I had four, four, um, if you saw my first video, then you know I had four two clips, the part one to this video. So I only ended up using two out of the four of those two clips, and those were just around like the very, very front of my head in order for me to um, do the style that I was trying to do. So yeah, so in the next clip, you'll see the actual style that I do and um, yeah, how I twist my hair into the actual twist. And so I'll walk you guys through that. So basically I left this clip in so you guys would know how I clipped the clips in, but I'm actually about to cut this clip short and then go straight into how I style my hair. All right, so as you can see, I'm looking crazy, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair down the middle. I'm not the best with parts so don't judge me um but i did do a part down the middle so we can get ready to do the style that you did see on my instagram so basically with my leave out at the middle part i'm going to do i believe i did four two strand twists so the first time i did this hairstyle i actually did flat twist but that was because i left out too much hair and so now that i put some of that hair back um, I'm actually going to go in and do two strand twist instead. So I decided to use a different product as well. I went back and used my old school Dax hair grease um, because it works like perfect to get my hair the right amount of shine and just for it to be able to blend in when I do twist my hair back. Um, so basically, yeah, so I put that on my hair. You want to be careful not to get this too much onto your clip-ins because it is like lanolin, which is basically like petroleum jelly. Um, and that's with any human hair. You kind of don't want to put greases and stuff that's heavy onto your clip-ins because you want these to last or your human hair, period, as, lo as long as however much you pay for it. So, um that's my only tip with that so I tried to keep it on my natural hair as much as possible and as less on the clip-ins as possible um, but basically as you can see here I'm two strand twisting and um, yeah so I'm gonna do this to the center part and then I'll speed this clip up and then come back and show you guys how I actually twisted it back Okay, so we are getting ready to twist this hair back. Um, so basically, I left the front part out for this. I am going to take that same Dax hair grease and I'm actually going to focus it on the very front and the front of the twist and not the back. Like I said, we don't wanna get that grease onto our clip-ins. So you'll see in a minute, there we go, that I put it just on the front and it really doesn't matter um you know if you do put it on the whole thing but just know when you twist your hair back that that grease is going to get into your clip-ins just a little bit so i mainly focused it on the front just to keep down how much oil does actually get into the clip-ins um so i'm actually going to split the hair off in the front to prepare to twist it back like so And um, yeah, what I will say though, if you do not have hair clips for this, you will get annoyed. Oh, this is me putting in, like I said, the extra, like I said earlier in the video, the extra two clips in the front to give it more volume, to make it better to twist. Um, so that's me doing this here. But like I said, if you don't have hair clips for this, you are going to get easily annoyed because you'll be picking up clips and pieces of hair that you don't need and it, 
it just got a little annoying and I didn't have hair clips. So I have this huge headband that I use to clip the hair to the side or to pull the hair to the side while I do this. The section of hair that you're gonna need for the front, you wanna make it like small to medium, medium sized, um, because that's gonna look most natural when you do go to twist it back. Um, this is me just putting on more hair grease in the front. And so once you get your piece out to the side and you got your little grease on your fingers, you're gonna take your brush, go ahead and brush those edges back. Um, so that way when you twist, your edges will lay down flat. And also when you go to tie your hair up that night, your hair will lay flat. And so basically you just begin flat twisting to the back. And so I did this on both sides and um, I think it came out pretty good, so. Uh, you're just going to twist while you flat twist. You're going to pick up pieces of the clip clips that you uh, had set out to the side for the front of the hair to be twisted back into. And basically, you're just going to, like I said, flat twist straight to the back. Now, what I will say is you do want to take your time doing this because, like I said, the hair is kinky, afro kinky curly. So um, I did have to keep spraying it with water to keep the curls loose and able for my fingers to just glide right through. Um, like I said, you don't wanna do this on dry hair because it's not gonna work out for you. But do y'all see that? Like that looks really good. And so basically I do this on both sides of my hair. And so I'll speed the clip up so you guys can go ahead and hop to the finished product. So notice how I'm like just picking up the clip in here like natural as if I was twisting my own hair back um, because that's what you want to do. And essentially your hair that you left out in the front will hide the clips um, and in the middle will hide the clips at the top. And so basically that is all I'm doing on both sides of my hair. And that is how I got the style that you guys saw on my Instagram. I did not use any type of edge control because I actually tied my hair up. Um, that night and so typically when I use the Dax hair grease I really don't need any edge control or anything like that because um, my hair typically does a great job of laying down by itself with just the grease alone um, but if you want instead of using the grease you could also use edge control however like I said you really don't want that to get onto your clips just because um, you know just because it's not good for the hair did y'all see that that looked so natural like super natural but that's basically what i did for both sides of this hairstyle so um i'm actually going to speed this clip up just because we don't want to be here all day to watch me do the same thing but essentially you can rewind the video back and see what i did but that's basically what i did for both sides of my hair and then i tied it up for the night slept on it and then i woke up and hair was popping
All right, you guys, so it is the next day. And as you can see, I take my twist and loose at the top and they are looking good. They're looking like they are about to blend in with these clip ends, okay? So I go ahead and take them loose. And um, I actually, what I do is I just take them and I tuck them underneath the main twist that are going straight to the back. And do y'all see this shine? And like, oh, y'all. I'm telling y'all that Dax hair grease change your life. So, um, like I said, I'm basically just taking that hair and I'm tucking it straight under the twist just like that. And boom, there we go. We in. We blend it. We looking good. All that good stuff. Um, and I do that, obviously, for both sides. Now, what I will say is what I actually think is to do the same exact method, except go ahead and take my hair untwisted. The individual twist tuck it and then tie my hair up and sleep at night like that um because i think that would make this like perfect like because this isn't as perfect as i would like it to be, have been um i mean it's getting the job done of course but i want it to be a lot neater and a lot better um than what it came out looking like to me so i think i'm gonna actually do that for the next time um however I still think I think it came out pretty good in order for me to blend it with these clip ins. So basically, I'm just trying to make sure that even as I tuck the hair in, that the track at the top is actually going to be covered. Because why? Someone who's going to be six feet taller than you or me can see your tracks is. And we don't want that. So um, you want to make sure your tracks are covered at the top. And then also, um, yeah, all your tracks are covered. No one can see a track. So in the event your hair doesn't reach all the way down like mine does yet to the uh, twist in the back, I just take a little extra bobby pin um, and bobby pin it down. So that way, you know, it'll lay flat. That's why I said it would be better if I would have taken it a loose first and then put the headscarf on it and then slept on it like that because I wouldn't have to do this. But because I didn't do that, we have to do this. So basically that is it for this style. And I hope you guys liked it. Um, I liked it. I know that you guys saw it on Instagram and really liked it and wanted the tutorial. Um, so this is it. I'm sorry that it is so long um, because it is very, very long. So I'm going to have to put some timestamps in this video because I don't think anyone want to watch it all the way through unless you do it. And you've been here from the beginning. Gang, gang. OK, um, but that is it for this hairstyle. Um, I actually did I also twisted which I don't know if I put a clip in here I don't think I did but I did twist the actual clip in here um, the first time so I didn't have to retwist it again but that will make it look super natural you just do two strand twist of all of the clip in here and take it a loose and so that is it for this style I hope you guys liked it and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video